Hello Periscope. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Join into the broadcast. This is me and my lovely. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. My Mocha Fab Life, welcome. Welcome everybody that's joining, joining, um, and welcome everybody that's joining me on the replay. I appreciate you. I appreciate you um, sharing the love, giving the hearts, even on the replay. Um, just to get this party started, my name is Keisha Bass with KeishaBass.com. I help women in network marketing, specifically be seen, be heard, and get paid. So I help you get visible. Miss Frankie Rowe, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you today. And stuff, your seasoning is amazing. Okay, so I wanted to make sure. Faith Stretcher. I like that. Welcome, welcome. Yes, it is good. So it's really good. So congratulations on that. Shannon's Liberty, welcome. So here's what you guys can do. You can swipe right, swipe up. You know, one of the phones that you're on. Um, and you can share out the broadcast. I promise you, there's going to be some amazing value that I'm going to give. Come on, hell. Yes. <laughs> okay, I don't have any that I could uh, swing very much. But, um, yeah, we're on the end of this style. We're getting to the end of this style. But, um, awesome. Listen, if this is your first time scoping with me, throw up a number one so I can properly um, shout you out. And then shout out where you guys are scoping in from. So, let's do that. Muhammad Tawan, Welcome. Thank you for inviting followers, Faith Stretcher. I appreciate you for doing that. Mr. Patton316 is here. Thank you so very much. Appreciate Louisiana is here. Hey. Hey, I was watching you last night. Um, awesome. That is so very awesome. I was watching you last night. Congratulations on your um decision and stuff like that. I'm actually from the boot as well. So I have much love for you all in the boot. So I'm I'm up in Seattle now, but born and raised in Louisiana. Okay, Louisiana. And so today I want to just talk about really quickly, you guys. I'm not going to be in here long. I got some stuff I got to do today. <laughs> oh, really? I'm so proud of myself, Muhammad. First time jitters. Ah! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell me your name. Okay, I don't remember your name. I, I remember your, your handle. Um, but you did an amazing job. You know what? You did an amazing job. So um, it was her first scope, and I was able to jump on. And did a, you did a great job. I, w I stayed on because um, I wanted to hear your story and stuff like that estate investing so it was really interesting I actually went and looked up your mentor and everything so thank you for sharing that information you never know um, whose life you're going to impact when you jump on Periscope and just share your story you know what there's great power in your story okay and I just was like man I could just feel you on that one, okay you're going to scope next week Frankie yes I'm excited I can't wait I absolutely can't wait because you have a story to tell as well stuff so so, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to get started here. Welcome back. I don't know if because I, I um, got a phone call that it knocked me off. Saida, that's right, Saida. I think I got it. Saida, I remember that. Okay, so awesome. Let's talk about five tips that you you know how you can build your business while you're working a job. Okay, and thank you for the hearts. In order to give hearts, you just tap the screen. My mentor told me, you Keisha, you have to tell people everything because you can't assume people know what to do. So to give hearts, which is something that we love over here on Periscope Land, you just tap the screen. I'm tapping. T I am going to a million hearts. Okay, that is my goal. That's my immediate goal for me and my Periscope community is to get to a million hearts. I'm actually going to go when I leave. They got periscope and stuff. I'm going to um to get a tripod. I'm getting two tripods actually because I actually like to hang out on Facebook Live and I like to hang out on Periscope. And I found myself cheating on Periscope and I was just hanging out on Facebook Live all the time and I wasn't hanging out on Periscope. And so my mentor told me, Keisha, no. You're not going to abandon Periscope and just be on Facebook Live because you have a community in both places. So I said, okay. All right. I got it. Okay. So I'm back. So I know my um, my viewers, they're probably like, this girl is gone. So so we're going to build it back up. But anyway, so thank you guys for joining me today. And so um, I am a um, full-time inter internet entrepreneur. I'm actually full-time. Me and my husband have created a multiple six-figure business from the comfort of our own homes. Okay. No hotel meeting, no home parties, no three-way calls. That stuff absolutely works, but it's just not, it doesn't work for my life, okay? So I'm not knocking people who do that. It just doesn't work for me. So we built an entire business on the internet um, with social media, YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, Facebook Live, using social media is how we've done it. So I love everything about social media and I love connecting with other powerful women like Saida, okay? And that's why I was on her scope. All right, so five tips here. So listen, number one, okay? Is you want to be crystal clear about why you're starting a business, okay? Number one, you have to be crystal clear 
about why you are starting a business. If you're unclear as to why you're starting a business, trust me when I tell you when the storms of life come, and they will come, okay? When the storms of entrepreneurship knock on your door and they will come, you have to have a why that is big enough that will help you to stay in the game, okay? A clear vision will help you when all else fails, when, when people are laughing at you, okay? When people think you're crazy, right? For wanting to do an internet business, I will tell you when I um, decide to go online and just be full time, my family thought I was crazy. They were like, chick, listen, you have a degree, okay? Um, you work in IT, not, why won't you go and work for Microsoft or something like that? Why won't you do something like that? Why do you want Why do you want to work on the internet, okay? So people will, will laugh at you, right? They will think that you're crazy, secretly talk about you and everything like that. So your crystal clear vision will help you continue to move forward, okay? So if you're on here, if you're getting good value as I'm going through the presentation, through the, through the tips, tap, tap, tap the screen. And stuff. Your your family must be related, to, right? They probably are. Everybody related in Louisiana. Okay, you know that, right? Everybody in Louisiana is related. So number two, you want to be committed to your dream. Okay, be committed to your dream. I want you to have a binding obligation. Okay. I want you to have a binding obligation to see it through. So that means that you don't have an option to quit. There's no option. That's not an option for you. Okay, so a binding obligation means that no matter come hell, come high water, I'm going to see this thing through because this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, I worked in, in corporate America, okay, and so I had a, um, a boss, I, I was very close to the owner of the company, and he told me about how when he started his company, he, um, his, his, um, one of his partners, the wife ended up giving them... Um, paper clips and stuff like that because she worked for the school system. So she ended up giving them all the utensils and stuff that they had when they opened their office. It's very successful real estate brokers now, but that's how they got started. And so he would talk to me about um, how they sat on the floor before they, the day before they opened the office and they were actually sorting out paper clips. So they were like, you know, this little paper clip here and they were sorting out paper clips. But that was his dream. Okay. And so as I was talking to him, as much as I was hearing what he was saying about his dream, I was saying to myself, you know what? This is your dream. This company, this, all this stuff, this is all your dream. Okay. This is not my dream. I didn't have a dream to um, start an insurance brokerage and, you know, become the best in the world and all that. That's not my dream. And so at that point, it actually started to really hit me like, Keisha, what is your dream? Why are you here? Why are you doing what you're doing? And it's, very, you know, you want to tap into what is your dream and have a binding obligation to see your dream through. I don't care what happens. I don't care who comes. I don't care who goes. It doesn't matter. You have a binding obligation to see your dream come to pass. Okay. So just throw up a number one. If you are, throw up a number one, if you're committed, right? You're committed to the end. You're like, you know what? I don't care what happens. You know what I'm saying? I was telling, you know, some of my, some of my team and stuff, I was saying like, you know what? There are some things that happened in 2015, you know, with our business and stuff. And I was like, when I tell you there were many days, I was like, you know what? This right here, this right here. Okay. I could definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. But I had to come back to what is my dream? If you quit, I had to tell myself, Keisha, if you quit, then the billionaire Bass Brothers, they have to start over, right? They'll have to start over. And because mom didn't complete her assignment, now they have to start over. And every generation in our community, you guys, come on, doesn't have to, shouldn't have to start over. Right. So that's why it has to be a binding obligation. Yeah, I'm gonna burn the ships. There's no plan B. This is the plan. This is it. This is it. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. So hopefully you guys got that. Hopefully you guys got that. Okay. Number three, I want you to create a personal vision for your business. Okay. Create a personal vision for your business. Right. So what do you want your business to look like a year from now? Okay, I want you to write it out, right? Not just have it in your head, okay? That's not good enough, right? You wanna write it out. What do you want the business to look like a year from now, okay? And you wanna review that, right? Review that vision that you wrote out for your business, okay? If you have to pray about it, pray about it. Pray about what is it that I wanna be doing a year from now? What is this business gonna look like a year from now? 
you know, six years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, what is it going to look like? What is my vision going to look like, right? What is my business going to look like? I'm going to write it out. I'm going to write this vision. I'm going to make it plain. Okay. I'm going to make it plain. So I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly where I'm going. It's hard to hit a target you haven't identified. Okay. It's hard. It's hard to hit an unidentified target. Okay. And so some people are, have, um, you know, have businesses with no target and it's very easy, especially in the network marketing industry. Cause that's what I came out of. Right. That's why I, I, I still am in, um, people have businesses and be like, okay, so what's your revenue goals for this month, this year? Okay. Like, and they're like, well, I, I don't know. I just want to make some money. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay. FedEx, um, Applebee's, uh, Starbucks, all these, these businesses have revenue goals. Okay. But it, you know, and I always like to tell people, listen, if you're in a nonprofit, let me know. Cause I can, I can direct you to the right people to help you on how to run a nonprofit. Cause I'm not that person. I'm not that chick. I can't tell you how to, I can't tell you how to barely get by. I can't, I don't know how to tell you how to get by, right? All I don't know how to do is tell you how to soar in whatever it is that you do, whether you work at a job and you want to go to the top, whether you want to build a business, you want to go to the top. I just know how to soar. That's it. Period. Space, space. I wasn't born to get by. I wasn't born. I wasn't born to just barely make make it. I wasn't born to just work a job and pay my bills and die, right? If you weren't either type number two, okay? If you know that's not your assignment, you were not born to do, some of you are working jobs that you hate. You absolutely hate, right? But I'm going to talk to you about those just a little bit later. So number two, if you, if you know you weren't born to just pay bills and die, you have a greater purpose than that. Type of number two on the screen. All right. Awesome. I see the twos. Awesome. 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 Okay. So number four. Okay. So we're doing five tips. I'm going to give you five tips, how to build your business while working a job. Okay. Cause I've done it. So I'm not telling you something out the textbook and what I, you know, my, my coach, I hired a coach actually when I was, um, I knew I was going to be laid off and whatever, whatever. Right. I hired this coach and what she had me do was to write out my six month vision. Right. I had a six month vision vision she wanted me to write. And then she had me write a five year vision. Okay. So I'm not telling you stuff that was like, oh yeah, well, I just went and read a nice little article and this is some good stuff that I think they should do. No, this is what I did. So if you wanna know how I came up my I came off my job, I this is how I did. I saw myself off my job. I created a vision that was like, No, I'm done with that. Okay. Number four, you wanna immerse yourself in learning. Okay, immerse yourself in learning. Research and study anything you can find that is pertinent to your business. Own your space, okay? And I think that um, Saida was talking about that. I, I hope I got your name right again. She was talking about that in the real estate. Um, she does real estate investing. You guys, be sure to connect to with each other that are in here because I don't know what you want to learn, right? Because I'm talking about internet marketing, social media, and stuff like that. But if you want to learn about real estate investing, there's somebody in here that that's what she does, right? So be sure to go through the through the comments and go through the people who attend it and connect, okay? Hey, Dakota, welcome. Yeah, so you want to immerse yourself in learning, okay? I'm always listening to um, different thought leaders, Gary Vaynerchuk, Sandy Krakowski. I'm, I'm, I'm studying the great, okay? Mari Smith, okay? I was fortunate enough to meet Mari Smith down in California when I went down. I was almost starstruck, you guys. I was like, oh my God, Mari Smith, she's so tall, okay? So anyway, so you want to be studying. You want to take a course, listen to podcasts, um, get a mentor, hire a coach, um, listen to audio books. I'm, I'm forever on Audible, okay? Yes, perfect your crap. Yes, it is, okay? Yes, go to events, um, you know, go to seminars and different things and be the best, be the doggone best at whatever it is that you're doing. I was talking to a, a friend and we were talking about YouTube marketing because I have about th a thousand five videos on YouTube, okay? A thousand, yes. I have a whole doggone university over on YouTube. Um, and so it's, at, it's actually KeishaBass.com forward slash YouTube, Keisha Bass Speaks. YouTube.com forward slash Keisha Bass Speaks. I'm over on YouTube. And so I was talking to my friend and I was like, man, I got all these videos on YouTube. I was like, you know what? This year I'm going to learn how to rock it out on YouTube. I'm going to learn some, I'm going to learn a little bit more about YouTube as far as the paid traffic and stuff like that. And so uh, we were, we were talking and I said, now, when you think about YouTube marketing, who do you think about? Right. And so there's a guy named James Wedmore. Okay. And so I've known James sweat more for years and have followed him for years and stuff and so I was like that was really 
really um, eye-opening to me when that happened because I was like, oh, so when I think about YouTube marketing, I think about James Wedmore. He's done a great job of imprinting him himself into my head as he is the authority on videos. I said, okay, you know what? That's what I want to do. When people think about marketing their business on the internet, when they think about internet marketing, social media marketing, I said, I want them to think about Keisha Bass. Okay. And so for you all that are on here as well, for your business, whatever business that you're building, okay, while you're working a job, listen, you want to be the, when someone thinks about this certain thing, you want them to think about you, right? You want them to think about, you know, what, you know, yes, I'm on his list too. He's amazing, right? You want them to think about you. If you do hair, okay, you want people when they, when they talking about getting their hair done, baby girl, you want them to think about you. Okay, you want to be like, okay, oh my goodness, right? We got some people here in Seattle that when I think about getting a weave, it's like, oh yeah, that person there, that person there is the one. Okay, if I'm talking about getting a cut, it may be somebody totally different color, it may be somebody totally different, but you want to own your space, you want to be the best at whatever it is that you are doing. You do that by immersing yourself in learning. And then you get on Periscope, you get on Facebook Live, you get on different platforms and share a piece of what you actually know. And now you increase your value in the marketplace and now people begin to know, like, and trust you and they pull out your cre their credit cards and if you have a program, they join your program, you know, whatever, right? They buy your program, whatever it is, okay? So that's what you definitely want to do. Yes, Frank A. <laughs> okay, so last one and, and certainly not least is I want you to stay positive, okay? Those of you who are on a job, stay positive, right? Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, there's someone that would love to be in your shoes, okay quite honestly um they absolutely would they have been looking for a job for a long time um, and they would love to do that right they would love to be in your position okay and so while you are in your job i want you to appreciate that right because whatever you appreciate appreciates okay you know that right whatever you appreciate it appreciates and so while you are there okay i want you to be grateful because you know what someone trusted you enough to hire you I mean, you have to think about it like that. I mean, somebody trusted you enough with their dream, right, to um, to hire you and bring you on the staff. And um, and you know what? You be grateful. If they pay you every two weeks and the checks don't bounce. Come on, somebody. Then you be grateful that, you know what, you have a job that pays, that pays every two weeks. And you know what I'm saying? And then you have a, you know, you have an office space or you have a cubicle or whatever. You have desk or whatever. You have pens. So you can find things to be grateful for about that job and just say to yourself, this is only temporary. I'm just passing through. And so while I'm passing through here, then I'm just going to be grateful, right? I'm going to be grateful. And I know that, you know what? I'll attract everything I need in order for me to get off this job, in order for me to start my business, in order for me to build my business to the level where I can now, my passion out, you know, is out paying my paycheck. Okay. That's what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It's a powerful place to actually be. There's a, uh, a book that I read. It's actually, um, after the, um, Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, it's called the greatest manifestation principle in the world. Okay. You guys want to look it up. The greatest manifestation principle in the world. That book changed my life because when I got, when I had heard about it for years, my mentor, another mentor of mine had told me about the book. Um, and I, I think I ordered it and stuff. And so, but it's called the greatest manifestation principle in the world. And literally at a point, I was at a very, very, very low point in 2013. Okay. And, um, and I had, I had been laid off, off my job. I had, you know, I was like my unemployment, you know, was running out and I was just like, I didn't know what I was doing still. I was still like, you know, trying to figure what, what I was doing. And so I read that book and, um, and I would wake up in the morning and I would just be like, oh my God, what am I doing? You know, what's going on? I'm thinking like, you know, I'm getting letters at like December 26th or something like that. It was like, your unemployment is going to be running out December 26th. And it was like, you got to do something and you got to do something fast. And I'm thinking to myself, and so I read this book and inside the book, it talked about being great, grateful, right? It talked about having gratitude for, you know, for little things that are in your life and for you to wake up in the morning and for that to be what you do. And so I just vowed that that's what I would do. I woke up in the morning and at that time I had a bookshelf inside of my bedroom um, with books. And so I literally, I kid you not, I would get up in the morning, okay, I, my feet would hit the floor and I would be like, 
mm -mm, I'm not going there. I thank you, God, for those books. I thank you that I have the ability to read those books. And I thank you that somebody somewhere has doesn't have any books. And I thank you that I have a bookshelf to actually put the books on. And I think you have the ability to learn and do some things, God. And, and this is what I would do in my morning, right? <laughs> this is how my morning would be. And I'm like, I just want to say thank you. Um, I, and I, I would just thank for my eyes, right? I would go from, I would go from books on the shelf, right? I went from books on the shelf to thank you for my eyes that I can see the the words on the page because somebody somewhere has no eyes. And I thank you for the understanding that I can actually read a book and I can actually understand it, right? Because somebody somewhere doesn't have understanding. They can't even read. Somebody has to read to them. And so guys, I'm telling you, if you just practice it, just, I promise you, it'll change your life, right? It absolutely will do that. And, um, Yes, yes, yes. Do that and, you know, and get your gratitude journal, right? Get a gratitude journal, you know, and really begin to um, to write out things that you're grateful for. Set yourself a goal to write out 20 things you're grateful for every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, v Valerie, it may be a good exercise for, you know, for you, you know, in this season, you know what I'm saying? Because you're in a tough season. You guys, I want you to pray for Valerie. Valerie lost her mother. And so you're in a tough season. And so it'd be really easy for depression and things like that to set on you because of where you are. Um, but you have to pull and find out, you know what I'm saying? Like find the good, you know what I'm saying? Find the great experiences that you and your mom, you know, had and stuff and, you know, really find the, find the good in it because it, but you know, allow yourself to grieve. Okay. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say, you know, allow yourself to grieve, you know what I'm saying? Like that, but you know, really find, really, you know, really be, um, yeah. So Valerie who's here on the, um, on the broadcast actually lost her mother. Yes. So really keep praying for her and stuff. And she's, you know, been on, you know, um, on broadcast and things like that doing Taylor made for one welcome. Yes, yes, yes. So definitely, so definitely write out, write out the good and stuff like that. So yeah, so keep praying for her and in this season, you know what I'm saying, of her life, because I don't know, I cannot imagine, I have never lost, you know, um, my mom's, my two, I have two moms that are still here, but, um, I know that you're going, you are a fighter and I know that you will get through this and I know you will do great things and go off and build an amazing legacy, um, for your mom and stuff like that. She'll be definitely proud of what you do. Okay. So anyways, let me recap really quick here. And, um, if you're on here and if you don't have, um, tap the screen to give hearts, I'm going to go back through it really quick. The replay will be up. Thank you to the replay viewers. And thank you for all you guys that are, that are joining me live. I appreciate you so let's talk the five steps the five tips again is number one you want to be crystal clear okay on why you're starting a business that is so important I think that's the most important step you guys um, number two be committed to your dream okay be committed to your dream and you can share on the replay as well so I want to make sure I say that you can share on the replay you can swipe left right up or down something like that not down but you can swipe right and swipe up <laughs> okay so um, two is be committed to your dream. That's number two. Number three, create a personal vision for your business. Okay. And I'm looking at my notes. So if you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my notes, create a personal vision for your biz business. Number four is you want to immerse yourself in learning. Okay. Immerse yourself in in learning. Thank you for all the hearts. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate that. And number five, I want you to stay positive about your day job. Okay. Stay positive about your day job. All right. My name is Keisha Bass at KeishaBass.com. Listen, go over to my website, KeishaBass.com. Grab my free training. Okay. I got some Instagram training over there right when you get on the screen. I'm going to share with you how to generate 10 plus leads a day in less than 17 minutes. Okay. 17 minutes. So anyways, go over there, you guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Okay. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm sure. Um, so you guys have an amazing day. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.